Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. The previous recording I talked about complex number overview number one. Uh, today I will continue the discussion on complex numbers. Uh, complex numbers are very important concepts in electrical engineering and uh, circuit analysis. So today I'll talk about a graphical representation of a complex number. So, as we saw in the previous recording, we said a complex number can be represented as C1 is equal to A1 plus J B1 and C2. For instance, if we have two quantities, C2 A2 plus J B2. So, A1 B1 A2 B2 are real numbers. Just, you know, like 2, 3, negative 2, negative 1, so on and so forth. But the quantity J, uh, sorry, so A1 and A2 are called the real parts. JB1 and JB2 are called imaginary 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 part let me just add some space here so say I want to add so in the previous recording we did uh, arithmetic operation of complex numbers so for instance, we did C1 plus C2. So now let's do the addition uh, graphically. So C1, let's assume, so here's a graph. So this is what we put the real part. This is the imaginary. So let's assume C1, so C1 is A1 plus, let's assume, a1, so is the real number is here. Let's assume JB1, so B1 is here. So, so here is C1. Then let's assume, let's assume A2 is somewhere here. So I'm going to draw C2. A2 is here. Let's assume B2 is here. So here's C2. So here's C2. So that's C2. So now if I want to draw C1 plus C2, so I'll just draw, so if I take C1, I'll come here at the head of C2, and I'll draw the parallel uh, section, which is equal to C1. Then I'll do the same thing for, so I'll come to C1, and I'll draw the parallel to C2. So then from the origin, which is here, I'll just draw. So this is C1. So C1 plus C2. So now let's draw let's draw C1 minus C2, which is equal to C1 plus 
minus C2. And we know C2 is nothing else but A2 plus JB2. So C2 uh, minus C2, I'm just going to multiply everything by negative 1. So it's negative A2, negative JB2. So I'm going to draw. So let's just. So here's the real part. Vertical is the imaginary part. So C1, let's just again assume A1 is here, B1 is here. So I draw kind of rectangle, then I just join. So that's C1. So for negative C2, so I'll draw C2 first, which is, let's assume A2 is here. Let's assume B2 is here. Again, I'll just draw a rectangle. So where they, when the horizontal line and the vertical intersect, that's C2. And I'll just draw kind of like a vector from the origin. So that's C2. Now, so negative C2 is basically just the opposite direction. So you just, you just draw, you continue, you draw the same length. So that's negative C2. So I'm just going to draw a parallelogram. So from here, sorry, it's kind of getting messy. And from the origin, that's C1 minus C2. So that's a quick overview how to draw uh, different kind of vectors uh, graphically and this is another important concept when we, in electrical engineering we don't talk about vectors but we talk about phasers phasor quantities and sometimes it's important to represent phasor quantities graphically to understand what's going on with the circuit so uh, that's it for today. Thank you for uh, watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to Engineering Simple to receive more videos in the future. Uh, next time, I'll talk about some more complex numbers. And I'll talk about Euler identity. The, uh, as I stated in the previous video, these concepts are very important in electrical engineering, especially uh, circuit analysis and it will be more obvious when we talk about impedance and uh, power thank you again and uh, don't forget to subscribe have a good day thank you